What you're about to watch is a video from our crypto and NFT masterclass three in one course. For those of you that truly want to understand crypto and NFTs, definitely enroll in the course. Welcome to this video. What we're gonna do now is set up our Elipal Titan Mini. So I have the device right here. It looks pretty sweet as you can see on the overhead. If you were to just pick up one hardware wallet, I recommend the Trezor Model T. That is going to give you the touchscreen capabilities and it's going to allow you to really utilize a lot of DeFi applications. So you're gonna wanna have your Ellie Powell, of course, and then you're gonna wanna have your recovery seed phrase because we're gonna be setting up our wallet. And then you're also going to need this air gap device. And then you will also need a micro SD card. So in case it doesn't come with one, I also have a cable already ready to go so I can plug things in as we go. So how do we get this thing set up? And you could also take everything that I'm doing in this video and you can utilize this for when you're setting up a ledger or something like the Trezor if you want to set up one of those wallets. It's going to be very, very, very similar. What we're gonna do is use our phone in this case. So we've got the Elipel and it wants us to download the app. What I'm gonna do on my phone is I'm gonna to go to my camera and I'm just going to scan this QR code. So what we're gonna do is go to the phone app and there we go. We can open up the app store and here is the app that we need. So there we go, install, put in our password. Once we have this downloaded, then we can leverage the app in order to send, receive transactions. Um, so that's gonna be really cool. So now we're gonna hit open. Okay, and we're gonna hit allow. All right, so a multi-account, multi-currency management. So we're gonna scroll over to the right. We're gonna continue and we're gonna hit start, okay? So here we've read the terms of service. Of course, you know, nobody really reads that. So we're gonna hit confirm. All right, so there we go. We have the app installed. What we're gonna do before we get started is we're gonna download the latest firmware update. So we're gonna plug in a micro SD card and we're gonna plug it into our computer. On a Mac, you're gonna to go to disk utility. So open up that application and then you're gonna find your card. So here you can see that we have our generic and then I also have an XFAT version, but we need to change that. So here we have generic USB, but what we can do is click on erase, okay? And then we're gonna go to MDOS FAT. That's what we have to do. So MDOS FAT, if we scroll over, that's what they want, I believe. So FAT32, okay? So FAT32, you can click on how to. So you're gonna to go to MDOS FAT, which will be a FAT32 format. And we're gonna put the Elipel, like so. And we're gonna hit on Erase. Now make sure that you're formatting the right SD card. As you can see in the top right, we are formatting a card that's about four gigabytes. My other cards, or SSDs in this case, are you know several terabytes. So there we go. Now that we've properly formatted our micro SD card, what we're gonna do now is download the Titan Mini firmware. So we can hit on download. And as you can see here, it's a zip file. So we're gonna show that in our finder. We're gonna copy that and we're going to add it to our Elipal. So we're gonna hit paste. You can see that our format is MDOS FAT32. Okay, so make sure that you copy and paste it onto the SD card, and then you can eject the card. So once we eject the card, we can now take it out, and then we can connect it into our mini device here. All right, and then we already have this USB connected to our computer. So what we'll do is connect it to our Elipal, what we're gonna do is go to the top left here, and then you can see under the about, we are on firmware version 0 0.17. So 
So now we're going to go to update. There we go. Update file detected version 3.00. Please ensure 50% power when updating. So start update. So now we're going to let this go through. And once we have this updated, now we're going to be able to access different tokens. And we're going to have better security features. And all around the board, the app will work much better with our device. And remember, the idea of an air-gapped wallet is the fact that when you're doing these updates, you are doing this offline. So we're not connecting to a website. We are using that zip file that EliPal gives to us, and then we are putting in that SD card, and then we are doing the update that way. So it's another added level of security, which I think is pretty cool. There we go. So we've updated successfully. So now if we go to confirm, you can see that we have different languages now. Now when we go to our about, you can see that we are running version mini version three, which is really cool. Now if we go back to our EliPal app, we can go to our device and we're going to create an account. Now if you've lost your device but you have written your 12 word mnemonic seed phrase, you can always recover your device by buying a new one and then import your account. In this case, we're going to be creating a new account. So how do we do that? Well, you're gonna hit create account. All right, so we're just gonna call this Mitch and we're gonna put in an account password. I recommend Segwit here because this will allow you for lower transaction costs and it's just a little bit newer than the general. Next, we're going to hit continue and we're gonna have a passphrase optional. User can choose to add a passphrase to protect their mnemonic phrase. So we're definitely going to use that. There we go. And now we're gonna hit backup. So this is where a lot of the magic happens, so to speak. So when you're setting this up, you do not share this with anybody but yourself. This is going to give you access to your private keys and it's the most important part of this setup, okay? You wanna make sure that you hit these check marks in the top right. There we go. So we have our 12 word recovery seed phrase. I am going to blur this out because this will be a wallet that I use in the future. Just like we've set up every other wallet in the course, what you're gonna do is write down each word and make sure that it's legible, it's easy to read. Make sure that you do this in sequential order. I'm going to blur this out most likely because this is gonna be a wallet that I use in the future. All right, so we wrote down our words again. Make sure that you do this in sequential order. We're gonna hit on next. And then we also have a passphrase, so make sure we put that in. Now we wanna verify our seed phrase. So what you're gonna do is put the words in order. And there we go, we've set up our wallet. Beautiful. If we take a look, we also have um, Ada that's capable of being on there. So we have Byron, Shelly, and look at all these different wallets and different tokens that we can have and add. So we're just gonna keep them all checked for now, but if there's some that you don't want, you can go about it a little bit differently. And again, make sure that you keep your recovery seed phrase somewhere nice. Um, what you can also do is you can pick up a metal mnemonic on Ellie Powell's website and you can go about it that way as well. Now that we're all set up with the hardware wallet, we're gonna connect the app with our device. So we're gonna go to Ellie Powell and we're gonna go to connect to Ellie Powell cold wallet. So hit the connect button and you're going to hit on connect to cold wallet. Now what we can do is scan our device. So near the power, you're going to go to this little connect button. So we'll go one more time. And now we can scan through with our phone. So all you have to do is hold the phone up like so, and it shows you how many pages that you've scanned. There we go, so we've scanned our QR codes. So now we have our app fully set up. So if we go to EliPal, you can see our Bitcoin wallet. You can see, for example, if we go on here as well, and you can send, receive, swap, etc. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, smash the like button, 
and also hit the subscribe button. It's really gonna help us out here on the channel to produce more content like this. And if you want, check out the links in the description below. We have our crypto and NFT masterclass that just came out. So if you wanna learn more about crypto and NFTs, please check that out. And maybe you could even enroll in the course. So we will see you in the next one.